Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Bird's Eye View, and I'm here with uh, Mr. Crow. Hey, everybody. And I am the War Duck, and um, there's a lot of crazy stuff going around right now uh, out in the world, and uh, one of them is ghost flights. Ever heard of it? I yeah, know I did. We're not talking about, like, the specter or specters or whatever the hell they call them. All right, so... So I did not know that this was a major part of an airline's business. Um, I have no idea how they work or operate, but apparently one of the things they do is um, they purchase slots at different airports and that they want to do business in. And apparently the contracts... <laughs> that they work up with these require a certain amount of uses every year or month or I don't know what the time the frame timeline. is, yeah. but frame. this article was saying that uh, airline Lucifane, Luc whatever. Lufthania? Lufth yeah. Germany's yeah. national airline, which is banked, it was based in Frankfurt, has admitted to running 21,000 empty flights, which they call ghost, ghost flights, ghost. this winter. 21,000 flights. And they're That's doing that time. just to hold the slot at the London airport. And that's just one airport, one company. Yeah. That, that's not all. Of, that's just a one-to-one. -one. They were wow. talking that... It, uh, so, so this is where this article turns a little bit into a um, climate crisis, yeah. Thing, but now they they, yeah. they were they were saying that um, uh, that if if this is going on with all the other airlines, they're talking about a hundred thousand ghost flights were operating in Europe this year. And are they saying this year? Where was that just? Maybe the twenty one thousand came from just the winter one. I thought it does. The win like, yeah, it says like this they don't winter. give you exactly, but yeah, the twenty one thousand is this winter, where now they go into saying, "Hey, this could be over one hundred thousand for the whole year, right? For just this one company, for just this one company, just and one because airport. they have to land and use that airport for their slot to get their slot." That is, yeah. I didn't know that was going on. And like, yeah, I didn't. Why wouldn't you just, it seems, it seems odd not to just offer like $5 flights. Right? Like it's five more dollars than you had. And if you could put people in the seats, you're flying it anyway. Like I don't. Yeah. I don't understand. Like. Yeah. This is kind of like hurry and sell this stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, even for as little as you can get. I mean, I have it's, been it's on flights before flight. where they were like, you know, like 200 seats and there's literally like 10 people on it. I've been on flights I, I, that are super creepy, by the way. It just It's weird to have nobody on the plane with you. But I've been on flights like that. But, I, you know, I mean, to me, it seems counterproductive that you don't just run major sales instead of. Yeah. Uh, just enough to like. Why aren't you running a sale that you make a buck here, or there, but you cover the cleaning and and the um and the stewardesses and, and whatever? Because I imagine these flights don't have any uh, any support staff on them. So yeah, they're very little to yeah, very little. Is what they said. Sixty-two million flight in 2020. Sixty-two million flights took place in the in the world's airports. That seems low, kinda. Sixty-two million flights. That seems low, world. kinda. Yeah. Yeah. If you're looking at the world for 2020, which is the the biggest part of of the vid, you know. I'm, I'm going to say, yeah, that was probably pretty low. Well, it's funny. is While that number sounds enormous, it was down nearly 40%. It doesn't... I don't know. If you think worldwide, that sound, that's very little. That sounds very low. 
Right. To handle demand, more than 200 airports worldwide operate some kind of slot system, handling mm. a combined 1.5 billion passengers. Okay, that sounds better. That's, yeah, no. If you board a flight anywhere in the world, there's a 43% chance your flight is slot managed. Hmm. So, so you think back of, or you look at all the big airports, you know, like, yeah, that's, they're probably slot managed. Okay. So I'm, I'm kind of starting to get the vibe that maybe it's a little bit like a, a hair salon kind of thing. You know, you you rent that, that designated area. And you just want to be able to get so many customers so that you can pay for it and hold on to it. That's how I'm seeing it. So I never is, thought of airports. This is that how way. this is how much like so it says um, highly prized slots at London Heathrow Airport reportedly changed hands for seventy five million in two thousand and sixteen. So. Wow. Two two slots, seventy five million dollars. But if you think about it, like you're, like Mr. Croza, it's probably mostly at giant airports. Yeah. And those giant airports, those big companies need that traffic to supplement um, the rest of their traffic throughout throughout the country. I imagine a lot of their money is made off those slot. Uh, air or those slot airports. Yeah. Cause you're pro wow, seventy five million though for two, Jeez. two slots. Just two, just two slots. Makes you wonder how many they had. Yeah. And it makes uh, I wonder. You know, um, you got the red eye flights and stuff like that. I wonder if those slots are a little bit cheaper compared to like. The noon slots or something. Well, like, they, yeah, they there absolutely a, are. Uh, is like there if, a if better you, time? Yeah, because if you look at, like, if you're... So, for the, my job, I had to travel to D.C. a lot. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the price of the tickets, depending on when it gets in, how many stops, whatever, it's definitely can get more expensive if you're flying prime spots of the day. Like, if you're flying on Mondays and Tuesdays versus you flying on Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday flights are usually going to be way cheaper than a Friday or a Monday flight. Yeah. Um, just simply because people are going to business on Monday and coming back from business on Friday or Saturday, you know? So, but it goes back to the same thing, right? Is like, if you're running all these empty flights anyway, why aren't you just selling seats to them just to get yeah anything? Just to get something like even you know like yeah, a fifty dollar a fifty dollar airplane ticket you know to somewhere. Yeah, I mean twenty five bucks is twenty five bucks. You're burning through bank just running twenty one thousand flights yeah. with nobody on them. That's just insane. That's poor. That's poor business management right there. But wow. So like I, I said, this this uh this article like I didn't know anything about the airline industry, the way their business stuff works, but this article kind of blew me away a little bit. I it just wasn't per I just didn't know that's what it was. Yeah, I agree. That's I didn't know that. I didn't know that's how the how it ran. I just, and with nobody flying because of the coof right now, like airlines, probably going on airlines a lot. It's probably going on a lot, which just is even more reason plane fare should be like nothing right now. Well, not yeah, to mention we the who that not to mention who the hell wants to get on a plane right now anyway and sit next to two hundred people you don't know. And it's just causing a lot of. Uh, um greenhouse effect apparently too yeah they, what were they saying it's they, like they it's like having 1.4 million cars or something like that yep one point yeah it was quite a bit 1.4 million gas guzzling cars we're in a climate so, crisis <laughs> this is what okay. this, this is what it crisis. says and the transport sector has the fastest growing emissions in the eu says greenpeace spokesperson he's mad yeah, he's angry because it's a waste. He, he's mad because they're polluting, and I'm mad because flights aren't cheap. 
Yeah. No. <laughs> That's a, I'm like, let me <laughs> let me go get one of these flights for but, to be really honest, cheap. I'm not getting on a plane anyway. I'm driving wherever I'm going for unless I'm leaving the country, I'm driving. So, but like I used to drive from New York to Oregon in three days when I was in the military. I'd take like 20 days vacation and I'd go three days one way and I'd have my two weeks and then I'd go three days back the other direction and get back for, get back to base. Dang. Um, I'm not a big plane guy. I hate everything about getting on a flipping airplane. Like these are like take off your shoes and walk around with everybody else's nasty feet on the ground. And, and it was like. <laughs> And then, you know, and then, like, they want to, like, I don't know, search you and mess with you and look through your stuff. And and then you got to, I mean, like, you get there, you get there just so you can wait two hours. Because if you don't get there early, then the line's going to be long, and then you're going to be late. And, like, it's just a whole disaster of flying, right? It's just not. It is. And and I have, like, pre-check and all that because of my job and everything. It's yep, still a disaster, dude. It's still a disaster. It's just. I hate yeah. everything about it. I would much rather drive if I have that capability. If it's in, if it's within the United States, I'm driving. I'm sorry, unless it's for work and they don't give me that option, I'm driving. <laughs> See, and I'm the exact opposite. I fly so I can go play. Uh, I'd... Like I I fly out and as early as I can. I'll do the red eye stuff just so I can get there earlier. And that's just me. Yeah, I hate everything about the whole process of flying. Just irritates the crap I... out of me. Fully agree, though. I hate. Uh, I, your bag I, weighs your bag weighs fifty fifty yep. point two pounds, so it's a uh, fifty dollars extra. Or you have to fine. I'll wear fucking three jackets. Jesus, whatever. Okay, <laughs> like I don't. I don't gonna, get it. I'm not gonna not take it. So yeah. don't charge me, and I'll just put it in my carry on and put it on the same plane that you were worried about it being. Too whatever. Heavy for. I'm not gonna get into the airport rent because yeah. just. <laughs> Get me all fired up and all mad about it. So, <laughs> so instead, we just need to fire up about the ghost flights. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So yeah, so it's just, just so Very yeah. Know that's out there that there's this slot thing that planes have to, airlines have to land at certain airports to keep their slot as part of their agreement, and all these airlines that don't have passengers are just running a bunch of empty flights just to keep slots. That's crazy. I'm wondering if this is going to change though, like because there's no way, like come, they're got to be losing their money. Well, that's why they're selling their sl slots to cash rich yeah. other airlines. But eventually, oh, that just means we're going to get into a monopoly of air flights now. Eventually, well, I mean, not um, really because how many how many seventy five million dollars slots can you hold and not have any passengers? I don't care how <laughs> what airline true. you are, you know. I mean, yeah. A lot of money it's, to be wasting. Uh, yeah. I don't know. That's Very crazy. Interesting. Very interesting. Interesting, interesting way of do, doing business, I guess, is not a smart one. Interesting, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let that, us know uh, your thoughts. Yeah. For sure. You, you uh, worried about these ghost flights? Or would you rather have $5 plane tickets? Because that seems like the way to go for me. All right, but we are out of here for now. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe, leave a like, help us get seen. Uh, and with that, uh, we are out of here. Much love all. Mr. See you, Crow's, everyone. Mr. Crow's all red and bleeding away. We better get out of here for some. Oh, there he's back. There he is. Now I'm back. <laughs> See you, <laughs> <Later> everyone. <all. laughs> Bye. <laughs>